Hey guys, um, I just picked up these two Coleman lanterns from an antique store in Blanco, Texas. Uh, disregard these two Chinese ones over here. Sorry for the mess, by the way. These I got from Sportsman's Guide, and they were like, I think, $12 a piece. Anyway, these here are the main ones that I picked up at the antique shop. This one here's got two filaments. It's the vintage green color Coleman. And after calling Coleman and giving him the uh, model number, this lantern, the green one, is was uh, manufactured in 1960. It's got two filaments. It runs on white gas or um, kerosene, things like that. It runs on several fuels. Uh, I was able to light it. It actually had fuel in it in the antique store when I bought it. I opened the uh, I opened the little uh, gas cap and smelled it and swished it around. I could tell it had fuel. So I got it home and it lit right up. Now this one takes a match to light. Uh, the glass is good. There's no cracks in the glass. I just uh, turned the dial, set the... Um, you know, set this little, whatever that is, and then, uh, to control the gas output. And then I, I, I used, I used a lighter like this under the glass and it lit right up and those filaments got bright. Okay. This one here, this is a, a vintage Coleman lantern in red paint. And I found out from Coleman that this one was manufactured in 1950. So this is from 1950. Now this one I did not get going yet. It, it did not come with fuel in it. Um, it has this, uh, this little reflector in the back that you can spin around. It's, it's more of a lantern meant for carrying as like a, a, to light your path. So that reflector kind of directs the light. Uh, where you're going. Now, if you look closely, this one has a fishbowl glass on it. Also not cracked. Uh, these are more rare, but um, that, that you know, this one has a, a straight cylinder, the green one, but the red one has that fishbowl effect to the glass. So it's a lot older and a lot more rare. Um, I'm not really a collector of lanterns per se, but I do occasionally go in antique stores and look for oddities that I think might be worth something. This green one right here, like I said, it was from 1960. I bought it. It had a price on the tag of $35 in the antique store. Now, it's got rust. I understand that. Uh, the paint's still good. I'm not really going to restore it. I'm going to leave it at it as is, but... I will say that I talked to the lady that had the store and she gave it to me. She knocked a little bit off and I got it for $33.50 out the door. Now, a lantern like this, if you were to go to Walmart or Academy and buy it today, is an easily a $60 lamp. So I think that was a good investment. This one here which is much older, it's 1950, and it has the red paint on it. It uh, it had a $45 price tag on it, which to me was fair, because this is easily a $60 or $70 lamp, lantern. Um, I asked the lady for a discount on this, and she it wasn't hers to uh, negotiate with me over. But she did offer me a 10% discount for paying in cash, which I did. So for the $45 lamp, I got this one with $4.50 off the price. So either way, I think it's a it's a good price for these. Um, even my, my wife tolerates them as kind of mantelpieces, if nothing else. I plan to restore them and use them, but um, I just... There, there's a certain charm about these old vintage lanterns that you don't get with stuff you buy today. Everything's made of plastic now, and uh, 
I just love um, historic type stuff. And Coleman's a great company. And I've, I've enjoyed their products for years. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a good day.